Aloha and welcome to our Forces in the Earth Crust video. In this video, we'll identify factors that determine the strength of a rock and explain how rocks permanently deform. We'll distinguish among the types of stresses that affect rocks. And finally, we'll explain how isostatic adjustment is involved in mountain formation. So in this lesson, we're going to talk about deformation of rock. And deformation of rock is quite simply any change in the shape or size of a rock. Um, what we're talking about is forces, which we'll call stress, leading to strain, which is this deformation. Now, things that are going to affect deformation will be like temperature, pressure, rock type, and time. Now, temperature and pressure we've talked about before. If we put rocks under great pressure, if we put them under great temperature, then those rocks can change, and that would be metamorphosizing the rocks. But they can also cause them to change their shape or their size, and that's where we have deformation. So temperature and pressure can cause either metamorphosis or this deformation of a rock. Now the rock type. Some rocks are going to be more apt to this deformation and some types of rocks are going to prevent this deformation so to speak. It's going to be harder for them to change the size or change the shape of the rock. And then finally we have time. If we apply a smaller amount of pressure over a long period of time we can see deformation or if we have a really strong pressure, it might not take as much time. But if we have this long period of time that we do in Earth's history, then it gives us the ability that we can then cause this deformation to happen. Now, when we're talking about deformation, there's two different kinds I want you to be familiar with. We have brittle deformation and ductile deformation. Brittle deformation is where it'll break, where the rock gets to be very brittle. It breaks into smaller pieces. Ductile deformation is a little different. That's where it's going to change shape. It's kind of like if you put a penny on a railroad track. If you run over it with the train, it doesn't break, but it changes its shape. It just kind of gets flattened out a little bit. Okay, so let's examine the types of stress. These are going to be the forces that rocks are undergoing inside the earth that causes this deformation. The first is tensional stress, and tensional stress is where we have a rock being pulled apart. And you can see the arrows here, and you can see the stretching out of the rock, and that's what tensional is going to be. We can have the opposite of that, which we call compressional stress. And compressional stress is where we're going to apply a force squeezing that rock together. So we're compressing it. And then the third type of force is what we call shear stress. And shear stress is where we have these forces acting in opposite directions. And you can see how it's kind of bending and twisting that block. So these are our three different types of stresses. We have tensional, compressional, and shear stress. Okay, the last concept they're going to cover in this unit is isostasy. And isostasy is this concept of a floating crust and gravitational balance. And what we're talking about is if we look at our picture here, we'll notice that originally we had this tall mountain. And as we have this tall mountain, it's going to have more crustal material. It's actually going to force its way down. It's going to be heavier. It's going to cause it to sink a little bit more into the asthenosphere. So it's going to force this down a little bit. As we have erosion, and you can see this erosion coming and taking away this top part of the mountain, that's going to cause it to be a little bit lighter, and you're going to have this uplift occurring, and it's going to kind of move upwards a little bit. So it's isostasy says that these big pieces of our crustal plates they're going to kind of go up and down depending on the amount of stuff that's on there. So the heavier plates are going to sink a little bit more. As they erode, they might rise up a little bit. And it doesn't have to be the whole plate. It can just be parts of the plate that this is happening to. Okay, well, that's it for our video. As always, good luck in the lessons and the quizzes, and we'll see you in the next video.